guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on the new well to me it's to me it's new i think it's been out for like maybe two three months i don't know but to me it's new and it's the wet and wild color iconic not a basic peach so this is how it looks it's freaking gorgeous i think this was the only one i seen i i, I don't know if this two or three of them i don't know but i was just in walgreens i was in walgreens and i seen it and it said new and i was like oh it's nice i love the colors this is just like my first impressions and then i'm going to do other tutorials on this look to prime my eyes i'm going to use the la girls pro conceal hd high definition concealer even though this is a concealer i just love this for my lids I'm going to use my finger, my clean finger. To set my eyes, I'm going to use this shadow right here. I'm still going to use this one right here. And I'm going to apply a little bit more in the crease with it. And I'm using the Wet n Wild brush. I don't know which one. It's the eyeshadow brush. So, yeah. Since I'm applying my the shadow in my crease, I am not raising my brow. Because when I raise my brow, it will not be precisely in my crease. This is the Glamour Dows brush. I don't know exactly the name of it or number. But I'm going to tap into this shadow right here, the other transition shadow. And I'm just going to apply that just a little bit in my crease. I'm applying this only in the outer crease and the outer V. Now I'm just tapping the shadow in my in the outer corner and then blending it out in the crease. And now with no extra product, I'm just blending out a little bit more into the crease, raising my brow. With this Mally brush that has no product on it, I'm going to blend this all out. When blending, you want to raise your brows so you can get all up in the crease. Now, <laughs> I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush. It's like a flat brush. I love this brush. It's like a dollar, I think. And I'm going to take this shadow right here. This shadow is pink and it has like a little bit of glitter and that shadow is going to go all over my lid. At this moment, I did not realize that my camera had died. So it did not record me packing on the shadow. So I'm so sorry about that. Even though it's some glitter in the pan, you don't really see it on your lid. I'm going to go back in to that transition shadow and just intensify just the crease and outer corner just a little bit more. And then with this brush, I'm going to blend it out again. to spray my setting spray on the brush just a little bit I'm gonna dip in and then spray the last thing I'm going to do I'm going to use this shadow right here and that's going to be my highlight for my brow bone 
and my inner corner. To moisturize my face, I'm gonna use the Organic Pharmacy Face Cream. It says for radiant, glowing skin. To prime my face, I'm going to use the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt, the Luminizer Primer. For foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. To conceal my eyes, I'm going to use the mini concealer crayon from Trust-a-Q, Trust -Q? I don't know, but I only use this I think once and I want to try it again, I want to see how it wears. I'm gonna take this brush and just blend out the edges so it won't look so harsh. I'm gonna use this highlighter, it's from Vintage. It's the Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. This one is the um, Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. I'm gonna take this brush right here from So Susanna, this fan brush, and I'm gonna dip in to Rose Quartz. Now to contour my face. You know I'm gonna use this brush right here. It's like freaking amazing. This is from Pacifica. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Pacifica Natural Beauty Sun Kissed. Ooh, it's 100% um, vegan and cruelty free. I forgot this has a mirror in the back too. How nice is that? I'm gonna use Pacifica Coconut Blush. It says coconut infused blush for your beautiful cheeks. 100% vegan, cruelty free. The shades are bleeming and tender hearted. I don't know if it's like bleeming and tender hearted or bleeming and tender hearted. I think I'm gonna use both of them just to go back in. Just, you know, flush some color on these cheeks. I'm going to curl my lashes and I will be using this mascara from Blink. Now before doing my bottom lash, I want to use this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and Swerve. I'm going to go back in to this palette. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush right here. And I'm going to just dip in to this shadow right here. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that shadow to my lower lash line. And I'm going to keep it very close to my lash line. And I'm gonna go in to this shadow right here and I'm gonna buff out this shadow. Now I'm gonna tap in just a little bit to the pink one and I'm gonna apply a little bit of that pink shadow in the inner corner of my lower lash line. I'm just mimicking what I did to my top lid to my lower lash line. I'm going to use this Chella, I think that's how you say the name. It's the Ivy Lace Highlight Crayon. So I'm going to use this for my waterline. The same mascara I applied earlier, I'm going to apply for my lower lash line. And then for my lips, I'm going to use the Galactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in Posh.
And right on top, I'm gonna use a little bit of the LA Girls Pout Lip Gloss, Super Shine. My overall thoughts on this palette. One, this is only $4.99, $5. And you get 10 shadows. So you can do, you know, any type of look. You have bright colors and then you have, you know, the neutrals. You got shimmer shades and then mattes. For $5, this is amazing. They blend very well. This is a yes for me. Like, I want to buy the rest of them. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. And if it was, please give my video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and you want to see more of moi, then click that subscribe button down below if you have any comments feel free to comment away and i will answer back to you i'll see you next time guys bye not, um, not a basic peach i was gonna say something else <laughs> the daytime Ugh.